In the year 394, the Battle of Frigidus unfolded on a battlefield near the Julian Alps in what is now modern Slovenia and Italy. This battle marked a crucial moment in the history of the Roman Empire as it pitted the legitimate Roman Emperor Theodosius I against a usurper, Eugenius. Theodosius, determined to assert his authority and reunite the fragmented empire, engaged Eugenius' forces in a fierce conflict. The outcome was decisive. Theodosius emerged victorious, firmly establishing his rule as the rightful emperor. However, tragically, Eugenius met his death on the battlefield. The Frankish magister militum, Arbogast, who had supported Eugenius, managed to escape initially, but feeling the weight of defeat, chose to end his own life two days later. The battle was emblematic of the internal strife and power struggles that had come to define the later years of the Roman Empire. Theodosius' triumph, however, was short-lived as he passed away in 395, leading to the eventual division of the Roman Empire into eastern and western halves. The Battle of the Frigidus stands as a poignant reminder of the empire's decline and the complex dynamics that contributed to its ultimate fragmentation. In 1492, Christopher Columbus embarked on a monumental voyage that forever altered the course of history. Departing from La Gomera in the Canary Islands, Columbus and his crew sailed westward in the largely uncharted waters of the Atlantic Ocean with the aim of reaching Asia by a new route. Columbus's historic journey, funded by Spain's Catholic monarchs Ferdinand and Isabella, resulted in the landfall in the Caribbean. This event marked the beginning of European exploration and eventual colonization in the Americas. The encounter between the Old World and the New World created a profound exchange of plants, animals, cultures, and technologies known as the Columbian Exchange. Beyond its immediate impact, Columbus's voyage had far-reaching consequences. It paved the way for subsequent European explorations, colonization, and the establishment of empires in the Americas. However, it also had significant and often devastating consequences for indigenous peoples, marking the beginning of a complex and often tragic chapter in world history. Christopher Columbus's voyage is a testament to human curiosity, daring exploration, and the enduring impact of discovery on the interconnected world we live in today. In the annals of maritime history, 1522 holds a special place as the year the Victoria, a lone survivor of Ferdinand Magellan's epic expedition, returned to the port of San Lucar de Barrameda in Spain. This historic journey marked the first known circumnavigation of the world. Ferdinand Magellan, a Portuguese explorer sailing under the Spanish flag, had embarked on this daring venture in 1519 with the goal of finding a western route to the Spice Islands, or modern-day Indonesia. Though Magellan himself did not complete the journey, having been killed in the Philippines, his ship, the Victoria, carried on under the command of Juan Sebastián Elcano. The circumnavigation took nearly three years and was fraught with challenges, including treacherous waters, scurvy, and hostile encounters with indigenous peoples. Despite these hardships, the Victoria persevered and returned to Spain in 1522, marking a triumphant achievement in exploration. This voyage demonstrated the vastness of the Earth and reshaped Europeans' understanding of the world. It also set the stage for centuries of global exploration, trade, and cultural exchange. The legacy of Magellan's expedition and the Victoria's circumnavigation endures as a testament to human determination and the enduring spirit of exploration. In 1620, against the backdrop of religious persecution and seeking religious freedom, a group of English separatists known as the Pilgrims embarked on a voyage that would profoundly impact the course of history. They set sail from Plymouth, England, aboard the Mayflower, bound for the New World. The Mayflower's passengers, numbering around 102, endured a challenging journey across the stormy North Atlantic. After 66 days at sea, they made landfall on the shores of what is now Cape Cod, Massachusetts. This momentous arrival in November 1620 marked the founding of Plymouth Colony, one of the earliest English settlements in North America. On board the Mayflower, the Pilgrims drafted the Mayflower Compact, a pivotal document that established a social contract and rules of self-governance for the new settlement. This compact laid the foundation for democratic governance in the future United States. The Pilgrims' story is one of courage, perseverance, and the pursuit of religious freedom. Their legacy endures in American history, commemorated annually in the Thanksgiving holiday, which celebrates their first successful harvest in the New World. The Mayflower's journey, an emblem of the early colonization of America, remains a testament to the enduring human spirit of exploration and the quest for liberty. The year 1628 marked a pivotal moment in the early colonization of North America when Puritan settlers established the town of Salem. Located in what would later become the Massachusetts Bay Colony, Salem's founding was a reflection of the broader religious and social upheaval occurring in England and its impact on the New World. 
The Puritans, driven by their religious beliefs and a desire for religious autonomy, sought refuge in the New World. Salem became one of the early settlements where they could practice their faith according to their interpretation of Christianity. Salem's history is notably intertwined with the Salem Witch Trials of 1692, a tragic period in which allegations of witchcraft led to the execution of several individuals. This dark chapter serves as a reminder of the complexities and challenges faced by early American settlers. Salem's establishment was a significant step in the colonization of the American Northeast. It played a role in the broader narrative of American history, which saw the development of diverse colonies with distinct social, political, and religious identities. Salem's enduring legacy, both for its religious roots and the events of 1692, serves as a reminder of the complexities of early American history and the pursuit of religious freedom. The Battle of Nordlingen, fought in 1634 during the tumultuous Thirty Years' War, stands as a pivotal event in the conflict that engulfed Europe. This battle brought together the forces of the Catholic Imperial Army and the Protestant Alliance, led by Sweden and various German Protestant states. The stakes were high. The Catholic forces, bolstered by the leadership of Ferdinand III and support from Cardinal Richelieu of France, sought to reassert their dominance in the war. The Protestant alliance, on the other hand, aimed to defend the gains they had made in the earlier stages of the conflict. The battle itself was marked by intense fighting and strategic maneuvers. Ultimately, the Catholic Imperial Army emerged victorious, securing a critical turning point in the Thirty Years' War. This triumph allowed the Catholic forces to regain lost territories and influence, shaping the war's outcome. The Thirty Years' War had far-reaching consequences for Europe, including changes in political boundaries and the eventual recognition of religious freedoms in the Peace of Westphalia in 1648. The Battle of Nordlingen, with its impact on the war's trajectory, played a pivotal role in these broader developments. This battle serves as a reminder of the complex religious, political, and military dynamics that shaped Europe during this turbulent period, leaving a lasting impact on the continent's history.